Okay, so for this second question, um, I want to do something a little bit different. I highly encourage you guys to just like uh, jump in yourselves and then try and solve this problem on your own. Um, this is definitely a step up from the previous what would Python do question. And um, it is, I would say, a challenge. Um, yeah, so I guess just pause and then try it yourselves. Um, if you're really stuck, I can like start going over some hints, but what I'm going to basically do is just like uh, write out the solution and each slime I'm going to explain why uh, I wrote what I wrote. Okay. So I guess just for some hints is that you look, look at the doctors, read through the doctors and they will like help you formulate your implementation. Um, so the first thing to note is that this is a generator. All right, it's gonna take in the numbers, uh, given a list, and then uh, output all the possible sums. The very first doc test shows you that if we have an empty list, it's gonna output zero, right? And this should be like ringing bells, like, oh, rep, recursion, right? So this is basically gonna be like a base case, right? If our list is empty, we're gonna always output zero. And then the next line, right? Something interesting is going on, right? We're basically outputting the largest sums first. And this is only possible if we start with two plus one and then output two and then one and then zero, right? And the same thing is happening in the next doc test, right? Basically outputting two plus, three plus two plus one and then three plus two and then three plus one and then two plus one and three all the way to zero, right? So somehow we're, um, getting retrieving the largest sums first, right? Okay, so those two things just like marinate on, and then yeah, if you pause the video, and try it yourselves. Okay, I'm going to go over the solution now. So, the very first thing I'm going to knock out is the base case, right? And I'm going to have if our length. If the length of my list, given list, is zero, then I'm basically just gonna output such yield zero, All right? There we go. Now, what is the recursive call in all effect? Recursive call is gonna be a bit different from what we're used to because it's actually gonna be within a for loop, right? So I'm gonna have for sum, in all sums, this is my cursive call. And I'm going to go through all the elements in the list except for the first one. List one, zero to the end. And then what I'm gonna do is gonna yield the sum plus the first index of our list. And then also another sum without the first index of our list. So why did I do this? Okay, so for the first thing is that uh, for non-empty lists, right, this part of the code is executed and it takes the first element of the list and considers two possibilities, okay? The first possibility is that it's gonna include the first element in the sum by adding it to the result, the, to the result of the recursive call all sums uh, list starting from index one. And this represents the case where the first element is part of the sum. And secondly, it's going, the second sum is basically uh, yield the recursive call without uh, adding on the first element, right? This represents the case where the first element is excluded in the sum, right? And then the loop goes through each sum generated by the recursive call and then yields two values for each one corresponding to two possibilities. Um, okay. So what this looks like um, in a more visual sense is that say, let's take this second doc test as an example, right? Basically, we're gonna start in our for loop at two, right? Because our list is not empty. What we're basically gonna do is first add the uh, excluded zero index one to it, right? And then we're just gonna yield sum, which is two, right? And then list is going to 
increment. It's going to increment, right? But since that's the end of the list, right? We're going to check, see if length of list is uh, zero. And it's, it's not, right? Yeah, it's not. And then we're going to yield one. And then once we yield one, the list will be empty, sure. And then we're just going to yield zero at the end. So basically, this is going to be a three, two, one, zero. And that is the output that we're supposed to get. So again, um, I just, for this question, I just like, kind of threw you guys into it. But um, it's just hopefully, if, like, you just have to get used to, like, trying problems and then working through, reading through the doctors and then formulating it yourselves. Um, once you, like, keep on practicing the skill, uh, it'll just get progressively easier and easier. So, yeah.